guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be cooking... What are we cooking, Dan? We are going to be cooking chicken curry. But it's Mauritian style. Don't ask me why it's Mauritian style, it just is. Anyway, so what I've got is I've got a tray of chicken which I'm going to be cutting up. And I'm... Let me do that first and then I'll go through a list of spices. So I'm just cutting them up into little pieces, putting them straight into my pan. My pan isn't on and I know it's not, so it's fine. And like always, I've taken the skins off the chicken and I've got my Is this more healthier? Yeah, not just that, but I don't like skins on chicken. And I've got my tissue underneath my chopping board as well. And now I'm going to leave... It doesn't matter if you've got a bit of skin on your chicken, that's fine. It's not going to kill anyone. She says. Okay. Right, so that's all that done. I'm going to wash my hands because I've got raw chicken. Okay, if I just get down to pour you for now. Hi guys, welcome back. I've cut up my chicken, which is in my pan here. So I'm just gonna get everything ready. So I've got curry powder that my mum brought from Mauritius and I have no idea what spices are in there and I have asked my mum, she doesn't know either, so no idea what spices are in there. But this is what makes it a Mauritian curry because of the Mauritian curry powder. You can get Normal curry powder from shops, right down. Yep. So you can use normal curry powder if you want to, that's fine. So, I've got some ground spices. And they're not labelled because I know what they all are. So, I will go through them all now. Sorry, a bit time consuming. So, I've got cumin, cardamom, cloves, cinnamon, chilli flakes, and my curry powder as well. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add my spices and then I'm going to add my curry powder. Baron, do you want to bring them up? Yeah, sure. So, about three quarters, would you say? Mm -hmm. Three quarters of a teaspoon of jeera, which is cumin. Same of cardamom. Now cardamom comes in cloves, which you can get crushed up, but my mum done that for me. So, so same as cinnamon of uh, cloves. You don't want too much of cloves because otherwise it will taste like um, cough syrup. So you don't want too much. And the same as cinnamon. You don't want too much cinnamon either because yeah, it will just taste like cough mixture. So just would you say that's a pinch then? Yeah, well, my pinch, but yeah. it'll be, be less than, it'll be more than a pinch for you guys. Right, good shake of chilli flakes. Because we really like it spicy. And we know, and I know that the curry powder is not hot, so that's fine. Oh. And then, Darren, can you pass me a big spoon? Sorry guys. Sorry, a bit unorganised. Uh, that one. Okay, so I've got a big tablespoon and I'm going to put in... Oh, have you really got smell of vision guys? Oh. Two of these. I'll probably put all of it in actually. Yeah, I'm going to put all of it. So that's... About three, three and a half in. Three and a bit tablespoons of chilli powder. I have to get some more. Yeah, to get my mum to get some. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's not available here in Ipswich, so mum gets it from the Mauritian shop. That's in London, guys, so... Yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've got some water. I've got about one and a half cupfuls. So I'm just going to put my pan on low. 
I've got uh, how many potato four potatoes? Yeah, that was yeah. four potatoes. So cut up. four potatoes that cut up and great um peeled as well. I've got two chopped tomatoes, teaspoon of ginger and garlic paste, and half an onion. Half an onion, yeah. So that will be going in, in there in a minute. Not quite yet. Because I want the spices to cook first. So what you want to do is just stir the chicken in. Just so you cook the spices before you add the water. Because you, you want it so that the once you make the curry, it doesn't taste the raw powder and raw spice. So you don't want that. So give us a few minutes just to cook. And yeah, like Darren said, if you've got smell of vision, oh my gosh. It just smells so nice, doesn't it? Oh good, yes. You can get like jarred curry sauces as well, which I do use sometimes when I can't be bothered to do it the proper way. I just get the jar sauce and just chuck it in. So you can do it that way as well. Just give this a few more minutes. So I'm just going to put about, let's see, inch or a little bit more of water. So just enough just to cover the bottom of the pan basically. Just mix it all in. And you don't want to add salt at this at this moment. You, we tend to add the salt in like last, the very very last minute. After we do the taste test. Yeah. So don't worry, we'll be doing this in stages, and you'll be coming along with us and seeing how I do it. Okay. So I'm going to leave this. Let this cook happily. Because I've got all my spices in there, so I've got my my um, jeera, my cloves, my cinnamon, my cardamom, my curry powder, and my chili flakes all in here with the chicken as well. I'm going to put it on low just for a little while, leave it to cover. I'd say about 20 minutes. Yeah, about that. that. Yeah, yeah, about that. So what I'll do is I'll get Darren's pause you for now and we'll bring you back in about 20 minutes and then you can see how we're getting on. See you guys in a second. See you guys later. Bye. Guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, it's been about, sorry, got itchy nose. About 25 nose. minutes, yeah. I'd say. Sorry, got itchy nose. Yeah, in for a surprise. Yeah. What? See what I'm saying goes with an itchy nose. Right, so. As you can see, I've added a little bit more water because it was getting dry. So you can see it's really looking... Oh, it smells lovely, guys, if you can... Oh. Nice. Very nice. I've um, added the onions and the tomatoes and the ginger and garlic as well. And as you can see, I know the chicken's not cooked yet. So I know it's not cooked. Yeah, but it smells really, really nice. So what you want to do is you just still want to cook that curry powder out because I can still taste it being raw so you still want to cook it out but I'm just going to give it one over stir put my potatoes in put some more water in there not yet though obviously I know that the potatoes are going to soak up a lot of the water as it is so that'll be fine so what I'm going to do is just put my chicken so it's up the top Sorry. I put my potatoes in on the top. Like I said, that was four potatoes that we we peeled, yeah. and then I just cut up into small cubes. So the chicken's halfway through cooking. So I know that by the time the potatoes are cooked, the curry is ready. That's that's one way of knowing that your curry is ready. That's a good tip. Yeah, it's a good tip, but my dad taught me when I was a 
I well, always say the old school tips are the better. Well, this is how I learned how to cook curry. I learned mm. from watching my dad, and he never used to measure things, and he still doesn't. Doesn't measure things. He just eyeballs it. You go I'm, by eyes, by smell, by taste. Exactly. And I, and I, I, I always used to say to him, "Well, how much do I put of this?" You'll know. Eyeball it. Eyeball it. Smell it. Taste it. Yeah. So I'm just tips gonna put, for the days, guys. A little bit more water, just a tiny bit. So I haven't put a lot of water, but obviously I measured out one and a half cupfuls and I've just got half a cupful left. So I know I'm not going to need that. So I can go away. And then we're going to, um, I'll probably get told it's not hot enough. So I'm going to put something else in. Well, wait until I do the taste test. First. No, I know it's not hot enough. Okay. This is where Davina comes in with her expertise. Well, not that, it's just, I just know that it's not going to be hot enough, so. Let me guess a new packet and you've taken the ceiling off. Well, it looked like it had the seal would come off. Right, so this is, I don't want to show. It's paste, isn't it? Yeah, it's chili, chili puree. Chili, chili you puree. you can see there, it says chili puree. Chili puree paste, yeah. Obviously gives it an extra little flavouring kick. And um, yeah, it says uh, great for adding flavour to your dishes without any fuss. One teaspoon is the equivalent of one of a fresh chopped chilli, so we'll do as it says. Right, it says one teaspoon. Davina's going to put in one teaspoon because I don't know how hot this is. Here we go guys, one teaspoon. Well. Ish. <laughs> Definitely ish. <laughs> right, so that's going in. Is it going to be fiery or not? We're fine now. And what we have this with, and this is a hat, this is a little thing that my brother has, and we now eat. Um, we have it with naan bread. So we'll be having the curry with some naan bread as well. So I'm going to leave you here. Obviously, you've seen. Darren do rice as well in previous vlogs, so we don't yeah, need to do, show you how to do exactly. that. Exactly. On how to do chili con carne, I think it might have been. Yeah, it was. I think that was your first yeah, one. Yeah, first wasn't one it? not done yet. Since then, the wife has taken over. So. Well, sorry. So I'm gonna love you and leave you. Um, potatoes will probably take about twenty to twenty-five minutes. So overall, I'd say curries probably take about an hour, a little bit over yeah, an hour. Yeah, something like that. Um, on you, a slow heat, yeah? Yeah, well, it's on a medium-ish heat. Medium. Something like that, guys. There yeah. we go. So. Um, if anybody wants, uh, is wondering where I got the pan from, it's from my mum's. And mum got it from a shop in London. Not sure what shop, but she got it from a shop in London. And she gave it to me. That's what we always use our curry pans for. Yeah, then. I mean. This pan, yeah, it, it just reminds me of me cooking with my dad because my dad always used to use this pan. So I have very fond memories of using this pan. Um, so yeah, so just in case you guys were wondering where I got the pan from, I got it from my mum's. So like I said, we'll leave you here. We'll bring you back once the curry's ready and the rice is ready as well. And then you can see how I serve it up. Yeah, we'll see you then, guys. So we'll see you guys later. Bye for now. Bye.